Did this scene really take place in the former Imperial Palace? More than 200 years ago, Qing Emperor Chen Long fell in love with the daughter of his Arab enemy, but could not win her heart. He gave her the hall for cultivating virtues for her exclusive use. There are many versions of the love story of Chen Long and fragrant concubine. The fame of this mysterious building has grown since it was opened to the public in 1914, but it has remained closed since then. for cultivating virtues is located on a terrace in the northwestern part of the Hall of Martial Valor. It has three rooms facing south, and the roof is covered with yellow glazed tiles. The unusual part of the building is its dome. Under the dome is the rear of the hall, and reportedly the most mysterious place. Imperial Palace was built strictly in accordance with the rituals of Joe, but this unusual room was an exception. It is certainly a Turkish-style bathroom. The walls are lined inside with white glazed tiles, and there is a fireplace in the back for heating water. A stone trough leads to a well in a pavilion to bring water to a boiler to fill the room with steam. to make the connection between the hall and fragrant concubine were the first researchers to enter the imperial palace. In 1914, the Institute of Antiquities held an exhibition. One painting, suspected of being the work of the imperial painter Giuseppe Castellone, was hung on the gate of the hall along with a brief biography of fragrant concubine. This made the small bathroom famous. According to historical records, Emperor Kangxi, grandfather of Emperor Qianlong, had a printing house in the Hall of Martial Valor and used the hall for cultivating virtues to steam paper. His son and grandson continued the practice, but it's hard to imagine fragrant concubine bathing here with workers and court officials around her. But it certainly was a bathroom. Even though the Qing dynasty strictly observed ancient custom, they built this bathroom in the rear of the palace. Researchers discovered a large well pavilion behind the Hall of Literary Brilliance, which is directly across the central axis from the Hall of Martial Valor. Just as specified in the rituals of Zhou, there is a well on the left and a bathroom on the right. Experts hypothesize that the designers received inspiration from the heavens. The phrase, bathing in virtues, came from the ancient Book of Rites.